What's up guys, it's Trippin' Off 6 here, and today, I got two new awesome shit to talk to you about. Now, first of all, I'm gonna explain. I haven't been here for a while. Yeah, I know, I've been KIA or MIA, whatever the fuck it is. And I've mostly been doing homework, and I've been doing this shit. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna talk to you today about one little new first aid kit going around the universities. This interests any college student, preferably those in Houston. And we're gonna talk about something even sketchier. Our favorite Democratic national, I don't know, fucking candidate, Hillary. Now, Hillary, we all know Hillary throughout our whole fucking life. We've heard her through Bill Clinton or through some other meme ass shit, but this time we're hearing her even more. Hillary Clinton. And the first aid kit is today's topic. So, first, let's start with the first aid. Alright, so in case you're a little bitch, and I mean like a little child, University of Houston, James O'Keefe. He's a director, he's the um, art director over there. He's introducing the emotional first aid kits for social justice warriors, SJWs as they're called. Now if you're wondering what an SJW is, uh oh, nerf this guys, fuck. Oh that's beautiful ain't it? If you're wondering what an SJW is, these people are pandies slash babies who believe in the greater good that does not exist. They're these guys are prone, prone to offense by the slightest hint of political incorrectness or simple diversity of opinion. And now, thanks to James O'Keefe, which is Project Verda's filmmaker, we, they, the SGWs have a new coping tool. The first emotional first aid kit. Holy fuck. It is a must-have accessory at the campus of University of Houston. I have friends that go there, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably agree with this. They believe in first aid, but this is because life is triggering. Anything triggers you. Look at this. Se busca. Spanish. See, they're appropriating my Spanish-Mexican culture. Fuck you, Overwatch. All right. Anyways, <laughs> so the first aid kit, it's it, it like it'll be placed all around the university, and it's in case people can't reach a, a safe space. You know, soothing music, Legos, uh, what was that? Coloring books. A safe space is somewhere where people go to calm down, relax, you know, they're triggered by the word man and the, and the transgender, you know, they're, they're, fuck, you know, they're triggered by all this shit, right? And a safe space protects you from that. A safe space tells you, hey, you don't have to face reality, just live inside your own bubble. It's okay, which is not, because then your bubble pops and you don't know what to do. But this first aid kit, in case you in case you can't reach a space a uh, space station, in case you can't read a safe space in time, this will include a genderless. You don't want to you don't want to offend anyone. You know you may be a girl, but if you get a girl blanket, you might consider you might be triggered by any means necessary. It contains a genderless baby blanket, earplugs so you can't hear anyone around you, and you can be in your nice little zone. And Hershey's Kisses. Now, Hershey's Kisses is chocolate, obviously, it's very fucking good. And it does calm you down, but... <laughs> Here's a funny incident that happened. The original product prototype of the first emotional first aid kit contained Hershey's Kisses. But, they this, they figured it would be triggering because it had the it was American flag Hershey's. They said, oh, what if someone of a different foreign... Or, or just, just an American, but you're, you fucking hate your own country, what if you discovered... What if you triggered, you know? What if you just triggered just by looking at the American flag, even though you're an American or you're a foreigner, you know? So that, that's problematic. That's really fucking dangerous right there. Oh, fuck. Alright, so anyways. So that is what they're adding. An emotional first aid kit. There's a video right now on YouTube. Check it out if you can. Yeah, so that is very that is a very important thing now these days. You have to watch out. Try not to trigger people. Try not to get people triggered. And in case you are ever one of the triggerees, you should promote the emotional first aid kit. You should promote that you're a bitch and can't handle real world stuff. You know, college used to be a place of where, of thought of multiple. Basically, it used, college used to be a diverse place in terms of ideals. You could you could be a communist. You could be a fucking fascist. You could be whatever. It was a place to challenge dangerous thoughts and ideas and be accepted because it's a place of education. But now it just seems to be a place of oh fuck. Now it just seems to be a place of no. You must listen to one ideology only. If you don't, you're a piece of shit. Now, I do have a human resources class. So, this class is very, very, as you say, diverse and... Oh, look at this mate. Die, 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 die. Oh, I didn't die. 
whatever. This class is very diverse. Well, it promotes the idea of, of diversity to a major strong point where if you even say a wrong opinion, and I mean a wrong opinion, opinions are never right or wrong, but if you say a wrong opinion, <laughs> you do get points deducted. I had a group member in my team who was deducted off points because this lady did not like their she did not like for us to even have a different ideal than the one she wanted, which is diversity is our strength. Oh, someone made it! Not anymore, fuck you. So yeah, guys, just just so you know, look at the video, a link down in the description down below about the the trailer about, <laughs> about the fucking emotional first aid kit. Now, they're saying it's satire, but nothing is satire in the 21st century anymore. People do act like this. People do need safe spaces. I am literally shaking right now at the fact that space, safe spaces that we don't have any, dude. I keep saying space stations. What the fuck? I'm fucking done, bro. I am triggered. I need a fucking safe space right now, bro. I need one. Look, we're fucking losing. It's fucking made, dude. They're appropriating Japanese, Japanese, Chinese culture, dude. Look, I just killed her, dude. I am a scumbag. Whoa there. Oh, what a fucking idiot. Thanks. Alright guys, so anyways, that was the first video. I'll make another one right now. Alright guys, so I'm back. I just had to go take a little little break. And the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is Hillary Clinton. Okay, so we know Hillary Clinton has pneumonia, but she's healed apparently. She has the best medical care in the world, thankfully. But now, there's a recent video showing up where Hillary is at a speech. She's giving a speech after her 9-11... Uh, faints. She recently fainted, by the way, guys. I forgot to tell y'all. Hillary Clinton had fainted recently at a 9-11 memorial thing. And since she did, she had to be taken and, and given great medical care. Just to protect her health. And here's what happened. Everyone thought that she wasn't going to give a, a press conference and that someone was going to end up taking her place. But no, Hillary wants that crown seat of the president for some fucking reason. So, what happened is... She ended up giving her first speech since her, her first speech since the attack or since since her pneumonia fainting epidemic and there's something funny about it. In that thing, she is given um she is um given oh fuck 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 you McCree. She uh she was given a, a sense of Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for, bro? I can't actually think right now. Holy fuck, I'm done. Good night, guys. It's been a trip down. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No. She ended up doing her first conference speech. And here's the funny part. In this video, there are people with their phones. And these guys are cheering her on. Like, yeah, Hillary. Yeah, you rock. And yeah. You know, I'm like, okay. You know, just normal average fans with their iPhones, front cameras, taking a video of the speech. But then when you look at this, the screens, nothing's matching. More or less, nothing's matching in the way you'd want it to. The backgrounds shown in the thing are not being shown on the on the phone screens. So everyone's like, okay, it might just might be a compression lag a bit. But no, I realize those are the shills. Those are the bitch correct the record puppies and Hillary shill bots. I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. Every other channel right now, could, oh, well, at least uh, at least Alex Jones is reporting on this, saying, hey, wait a minute. That shit doesn't look fucking right. It's a fucking green screen. And the clear giveaway is when Hillary waves. What the fuck just happened? The clear giveaway is when Hillary waves to the screen. She waves to it, right? And you want to know what? She waves behind her. Behind her is a wall. So I don't know what the hell she's waving at. So either she's lost her complete fucking mind already. Or she's just waving at the audience that was supposedly there because it is a green screen and everything doesn't seem to make sense in this fucking thing she's waving to a wall I'll post a video link and that one down below so, all, so you guys can watch and describe yourself she's she's waving to a green screen and they're trying to fool us basically by saying oh no Hillary is there guys she is safe this is all staged Hillary cannot handle Multiple people asking her questions at once. She has seizures, guys. Oh, look, Green Thunder. Wow. Give it to him. She has seizures. So she really cannot. She really cannot handle these questions. Which is why it's been over 260 plus days without a press conference. She does not like being asked questions, especially ones that put her on the spot. 
So this coming election, the debates will have to be intense. The reason it hasn't been a debate yet is because Hillary knows Donald Trump will defeat her and absolutely make a fucking mess out of her. She will wipe the floor with her. But anyways, guys, just... I'm going to leave the two links down below. The one for the first aid kit and the one for the Hillary Clinton help. P.S. I hate Rick Grimes and I can watch. This has been a Triple Alpha 6. Adios. Como te quiero.